Welcome back everyone to Sam Houston Bearcats Dynasty here on the channel. I want to thank you guys for watching the videos. You've been showing a lot of support with the likes. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to keep up with this series, but we're coming off that opening loss to Rutgers. I knew we were going to lose to Rutgers. You know, look, I just knew that, okay? But hey, we have some recruiting we're going to get into here. We have Devin Middlebrooks here. It's pretty clear. We need help at corner and... I know he's a bust, but technically he is a, you know, he's a three-star recruit. That'd be really good for our class, technically, to get a guy like this and bring him into our program. And we're going to put about 40 hours on him. And already have a scholarship offered. We are number two here. So this was a guy that we were able to kind of get in here and I believe he was already really interested in us. So here is a free safety who we are looking at here looks pretty good two-star recruit and already offered him a scholarship and then we are going to add a couple more little actions here to him try to get him in here add 15 hours to him so here is another player that we're pretty good at our, our, our is pretty good on our board we're gonna offer him a scholarship as well pretty soon here but you see we are way ahead of everyone here a left guard one star prospect but that's where we're at right now, right? We have to fill out our board with one-star guys. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. That's where we're at. Um, here's a guy that we are trying on, George Ogboji. I hope I'm saying that right. Some of these names are just kind of odd, and I don't really know how to pronounce them. So there's going to be some times where I'm just going to mess up names. So you're going to have to be patient with me here. Uh, he's a two-star, but he's a gem, which means he's a three-star. So we're going to send the house on him. Here is Rudy Wooden, one of these athletes, and he looks really good here. 85 throw power, so not the greatest, but is an athlete. 90 speed, 88 acceleration. Offer him a scholarship, and we're going to get to work on him a little bit here. But you see here, we're going to have to really go quick on him, but I think we have a shot. I think we have a shot here at Rudy, Rudy Wooden. We can offer him playing time for sure. Some of our quarterbacks are, you know, not going to be here much longer. So we're going to try to put a lot of points in on him that we can. Jace Bauer is hurt here. A little bit some wear and tear on that right arm. So he is not going to start for us in this game. Uh, you know, don't want him to get hurt anymore. He is a mobile quarterback, so I probably would be... I would have to be mindful whether I'm going to move around with him or all like that. So, taking on Rice here in week one. And former Conference USA team, now they're in the American Conference. So, home opener for us. And, you know, the stadium isn't really that impressive. Um, so, one of the things I found out recently with this with this Dynasty file, and I'm, I've recorded up here. So, we're now, we're kind of at a point of no return in my opinion. Um, this dynasty file is an offline file. I'm not, I could have swore I, I did it the first night, first two nights of the game. They were having some server issues and they let me in the dynasty. So I figured, all right, this should be an online file, but it's an offline file. So I cannot add team builder teams to it. So we pick up a first down right there. Uh, my plan with that was to add, um, Stephen, was it Stephen F. Austin? Um, that was the school I was going to add into this dynasty because in the lower division of college football. Um, Sam Houston and Stephen F. Austin were rivals. So I thought that'd be a really cool thing to add into the game. We can't do that because this is an offline file. So I don't think I can add a team builder team, but either way, here's a nice touchdown right there. I believe that's Noah Smith again, and just found him over the middle. Quick strike, Gunnel. Having an easier go of things here. So third and five here. And we get a pass breakup right there, so we get them off the field right there. So pretty nice stuff, right? Pretty, a lot different than that Rutgers game. You can already kind of, you can definitely feel the difference here from playing a team like this as Adai makes a play right there. You feel the difference from playing a team like this, playing Rice compared to Rutgers, even though Rutgers isn't even that good of a power for a team, right? But, you know, there's this, again, athletes, things like that, those things that matter in college football, so... We are here doing some hot routes a little bit here. I noticed something in the coverage. Notice that seam might be open if that guy blitzes, and he does. I get the pass over the top of the defender right there into the arms of the receiver. 
And there's Noah Smith again. Another touchdown. And we're going to put up some numbers with him here. And again, knew that we would probably have a free release right there. Just had to get the ball over top into his hands. Had to beat the two safeties there. And we were able to do that. So what? how does Rice respond? Well, they respond with a... What is this? An 80 plus yard run for a touchdown right there. No one can catch up to the running back right there. I believe his name is Max Connors. I could be wrong on that. Again, it's hard to remember all these names of all these guys, but either way, Dean Connors. Not why I thought his name was Max, but yeah, none of our guys could catch up to him. It just was not happening. Uh, yeah, massive touchdown run here. And corner couldn't catch up to him. No one could catch up to him. So just a big play right there. So we come back here. Pressure sacked on third and three. So going to have to punt that football away. Not what I wanted to do. So Rice, they come back again. Here we go. We get our first sack of the season right there. And uh, took us to the second quarter of our second game versus Rice to get a sack. But we are just not getting pressure here. Either way, that ends up disrupting the drive. Dean Connors making a catch right there. So we come back again. Second and three. Quick throw route here. Got to be quick. All right, we get this one out to Garza, who I really like. He might fly up the board here because the other tight end seems really slow. Might have to convert him to fullback or something. But either way, Noah Smith picks up the first down. Doing some good work underneath here. Going to speed it up a little bit here, right? Going to go a little bit faster. Going to be a handoff here on this play. And not able to get anything I mean, at all. Just nothing. So that's not ideal. We come back. Third and ten. Shotgun formation. Quick throw right here to Smith. And he's able to pick up the first down. So Noah Smith is kind of my go-to guy on this offense. And it's really easy. Had a couple options right there. But either way, we find a touchdown. I believe this one is to Simeon Evans. I could be wrong on that. I'm trying to remember all these guys. Yes, it is Simeon Evans. See, I'm starting to get familiar with these numbers and names. And Simeon Evans gets the touchdown. So, looking pretty good right there. So, we're up 21-7. Feeling good about things. And then, well, this is not good at all. It's just a really bad give right there by number seven and i've been noticing a lot here number seven i'm not sure the guy's name but he is just getting cooked out here man every single week there's a big play being given up there's number seven giving it up right there and but either way escobar gets the interception i probably should have just sat down in the end zone but i thought we had open field right there but that receiver is able to make a play on it but if we could have gotten, if we didn't get that tackle, I think we could have took that back for six. So third quarter here, Rice comes out, and there's number seven again, and he is just getting torched. Can't make the tackle. Too small. And Rice now, another touchdown. And that's Ross and McNeil with that one, and just, just burned off the line, honestly. I mean, never even had a shot. And gets into a foot race and loses it. Can't make the tackle. Eats eats a bunch of turf. So now Rice down a little bit here. We tried rolling outside the pocket. Try to make something happen. Can't do it. Fourth and six. Have to punt the ball away. So here comes Rice. Again, throw this one over the middle. Just a dot right there to Ross and McNeil again, I believe. As, uh, yeah, they're driving down the field. Now we just really can't do anything right we do get a tackle right there fourth and two but they're gonna go for it here and i do like that that feels like the college coach is a little more aggressive and there's another broken tackle and a touchdown so not only do we give up the conversion we give up a touchdown on it as well couldn't even hold him to a field goal this thing is tied up now we have a game here in huntsville 21 21 and we have not scored since that last touchdown in the second quarter so we need to get something going quick here again. And it just doesn't feel like we have anything going right now. We're kind of just discombobulated. Step up. Interception. Picks six. Did I give it away that it's a pick six? I mean, all I have here are linemen to run after him. That's just a poor throw on my part. Really late on that. Felt the heat coming in. Was kind of mindful of all the pressure and panicked. I think I had someone on a 
on a post route open over the middle. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure someone in the comment section will tell me that, but I looked like I had someone open down the field, just didn't trust it, and probably should have trusted. Either way, here's Phillips. Gets a block. Can Phillips go all the way? No, he can't. The far side corner able to come out there and force him out of bounds at the four. So we come back again here. Third and goal. Handoff here to... I'm not sure how to pronounce this guy's name, but either way, he gets a touchdown. And that is going to retie this game up. And... Okay, so we're tied up here. 28-28. Can our defense hold? Can't get pressure. And they have to throw it out of bounds. So, not bad right there. This is a pretty long field goal. So, you know, college kickers, what do they do? They miss. Well, not this one. This one, he hits it. I mean, he could hit that out from maybe 10 yards further out, I think. So, um, yeah, 31-28 now. Gunnell standing in the pocket. Going to find Noah Smith here. Tries making a man miss. Fumbles the football. They get on top of it. And... A Rice player is hurt. Good. But either way, that's a big fumble right there. And it's in Rice territory. I mean, it's pretty much perfect for them. And another big run here from Dean Connors. Just kind of breaking our back here with that. So now second and ten. Play action. We do get a sack, though. Third and 17 coming up now. So second sack of the game. Can we make something happen? Can we, you know, just force a field goal? Well, no, we cannot because we just get burned by their receiver. Yeah, they're rocking this game to sleep all right. Just terrible defense right there. So now we're down 10. And looking, 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 rolling outside the pocket. Throws this one back to the other receiver. And somehow that works. At least the defender kind of thought, hey, I could come over this way. But either way, we're able to kind of get... Catch him napping a little bit. And then we find here Murdaugh underneath. Pick up the first down right there. Not bad. Got to score quick here. Simple as that. Got to score quick. Get a stop. And we have a shot to win this game. So now here we go. Throw this one. That's almost intercepted. And we're going to go for it. Fourth and seven. We're going to go for it. We're not going to kick the field goal. I don't trust the defense to get a stop here. And receiver gets held up right there a little bit, but I don't. I think that would have been a tough play to make. That's just didn't work out right. So first and ten, throws this one over the middle. This is why I kind of went for it because like I don't really trust my defense right now. I mean they're just not playing good, and so we get another sack right there. I like that those actually get to be sacks in this game. And Madden, that ball comes out into incomplete pass. Instead, no, straight up, it's a sack. I like that. So now third and seventeen. All day to throw. Forces him back a little bit. All day to throw. All day to throw. And this one gets broken up at the last minute. Fourth and 17. So defense does hold. Fourth and 17. They kick this one and they miss it. So now I'm thinking, boy, I probably should have kicked that field goal. But it is what it is, you know? You can't go back and think about that stuff. It's just, I think at the time, going for it was the right decision. And I'll stand by that. So here's a die. Big play here. 30, 20. Can we one man to beat? Five touchdowns. Sam Houston, we're back in it here. And now we just have to get a stop. And another, yeah, another stop. So they're going to kneel this thing down. That's going to give us a little bit of time here. A couple seconds, depending on when they, when they punt this one away. They could really hold this for a little bit longer. Seven, and they don't actually. They probably could have held that a little bit longer. So that is going to give us one shot. Really, probably should have kicked that field goal. That's the difference here between a tie football game and whatever. So one play here to make something happen. Deep shot, going forward. All some some stuff right there. There's a penalty. Some contact. He does come down with the catch, but either way, it's triple zeros on the clock. Game can't end on a penalty, so we're going to have to just accept it and take another shot at trying to make something happen here. So we come back, trying to find some sort of play a little bit here. Four seconds. We try to fake high kick, maybe try to draw him off sides. Instead, it's a false start. So we move back five yards. Whatever. So got a shot here, right? Come back here. Just calling on, you know, some hot routes, and then we get another false start here. I'm not... <laughs> These guys are just... Uh, brain dead right now. 
Come back again after another false start. First and 25. We do get this one away. Smith just can't get up to it. Man, that one actually had a shot. But either way, we're going to drop our second game of the season here. 24 points in that third quarter. You know, the touchdowns, the pick six, not very good stuff from us. But Grant Gunnell did play well, I thought. 23 of 41, four touchdowns, one interception, the pick six. That's on me. That was just a bad decision by me. Late throw on a kind of on an in route. Just can't be late on those sorts of plays. Just can't do it. So Zach Harbreck. I hope that's how you pronounce that. 21 carries, 112 yards, one touchdown. He had a very good game, honestly. Um, not much else to say. I mean, we ran the ball enough, I thought. I mean, I didn't feel like it was a situation where we just got pass happy when we didn't need to be pass happy. Um, Noah Smith is awesome. Adai A. Oh, maybe that's how you pronounce that? Adai A? I hope I'm saying that right. That might, that sounds right, honestly. I'm not sure why. Adai A. That sounds right. Um, but yeah, Simeon Evans with a touchdown. Able to get some of our running backs going in the passing game as well. So I do like that. Blocking, we only gave up one sack today, but there still was a lot of pressure. Um, we were able to kind of get rid of the ball quick, throw it away a few times. So we didn't have to really worry about getting sacked too much in this game. So that is a positive, I would say. Um, defensively, again, able to finally get some pressure on the quarterback, three sacks. Um, no turnovers, though. We weren't able to force an interception or a fumble. So, and then we had two turnovers. Oh, we did have, no, we did have the one interception. How did I forget about that? But that extra fumble that we had, I don't want to say that's the difference maker, but, you know, because, again, really difference maker is that pick six. Just shouldn't have thrown that. So, we're through, so we come back here, and we're in second place here with Rudy Wood, and we really jumped up the board with him. Dalvin Post, we're in third place, so he's uh, looking good there. And then um, the one free safety, Dalvin uh, Amundsen, we are in first place there. These other guys, we never really tried. So, yeah, um, come back here. Look at some of these skill things here in Tactician. Trying to figure out what I want to go with here. And there's a lot of things you can go with here. Um, I really like this stuff, but looking around here, and we are going to go with DB boosting. Uh, we need to get these DBs playing better. We're going to go, we're going to spend 10 points here. We want to get those boosts to man coverage eventually, um, so, and zone coverage. So when we come back, we are going to take on UCF. We should have some recruiting at the start of next episode. That's how we're going to do it. Recruiting to start the episode, game, and then kind of just an update on things after that. So I want to thank you guys for watching these videos. Hit like, hit subscribe. We are 0-2. We know it's going to be tough. This isn't like, you know, it's not going to be picked a Big Ten team, you know, where we can easily beat opponents like that. Um, we're pretty much an FCS program. Uh, so, uh, granted, these FCS schools are looking like they're giving some people some tough time, so I don't know what that says. So either way, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.